the matter, and this is something that's very frustrating, is we know very little. Um, partially because the data don't exist. Quite often the data exists but aren't collected, and sometimes even if it's collected, uh, not having all of that data across a wide range of countries really limits our ability to uh, tell what's going on. We do have some suspicions. For example, one of the things that you see quite clearly in the United States and a number of well-developed democracies is that women vote at slightly higher rates than men do. Not enormously, but two, three, four percent perhaps. Uh, but in developing democracies, some of them have a tendency that you have clear sort of women voted rates 10% lower than men do. And that, the differences between those two are quite significant, 13, 14% a uh, gap between developed democracies and developing are going to matter. Uh, information. Um, and the truth of the matter is that the right way to look at this is to do studies uh, where we run experiments the same way the uh, natural scientists do. Is, is you try different programs and you see whether they work or not. You send out public information campaigns on women running, on, on women voting, and uh, you hope then that that has some impact so that women understand that this is also part of their tradition too. Uh, it would be very nice to see, uh, for example, to countries like Liberia, what is the gender composition of the, uh, the voting uh, population when you have a woman uh, running for president? And does it change dramatically when, uh, uh, when you have a woman running for president? So uh, some of that information is out there, but it's a real trick uh, collecting it all.